Good evening, everyone. Significant news for parents and students and staff. The CDC has changed their guidelines when it comes to physical distancing in schools, saying it's now okay for students to sit three feet apart. Before this, it was a six-foot rule. Christian Garzon joining us now live from the RCSD headquarters in Rochester with more. Christian, what could this mean for schools across the region for the rest of the school year? Well, Adam, it still masks up for everybody, of course, indoors. Now, the CDC is saying this three feet rule could give students a greater edge when it comes to in person classroom learning, but the six feet rule would still apply in places like common areas or the cafeteria. The RCSD is saying this is good news, and the teachers' union agrees and are saying if approved by the state, though, perhaps this is a better idea for next school year. The guidance from the CDC removes recommendations for plastic shields or other barriers between desks, advises at least three feet of space between desks in elementary schools, and says spacing can be three feet for middle and high schools as long as community spread isn't high. Well, we're really excited about the new CDC ruling, and we're still going through the regulations. Mary Sol Ramos Lopez with the Rochester City School District says the state health department and the county still have to get on board. The CDC says six feet of distance should be maintained in places like lobbies and cafeterias. I think it would be a real costly mistake to rush it for this year. Teachers Union President Adam Urbanski says they have enough difficulty accommodating students now. Perhaps he said next school year they could work with the three feet rule in the classrooms. He also says parents are a factor. Right now, the overwhelming majority of parents don't think it's even safe enough to send their kids back. Ramos Lopez says even if tomorrow the state and county gave the blessing to move forward, a lot of heavy lifting would still need to be done. Those are all things that remain unknown for us until we are able to truly review what the guidelines are. But make no mistake, for everyone involved in this full back to school journey, this is good news. We're super excited about the change in the ruling. Now, the county did say today they sent a letter to the state urging them to expedite these new guidelines. Urbanski did say next week they could possibly sit down and start talking about the potential with these guidelines going forward. In Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, back to you. Christian, thank you. Meanwhile, Monroe County Executive Adam Bello and County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza responded to the new CDC recommendations, calling them a welcome clarification of the rules and saying that they, quote, sent a letter urging New York State to expedite adopting these new guidelines, which, if implemented here, would allow our elementary schools to soon begin offering full-time in-person classes and provide clear guidance on when middle and high schools could begin to do the same. And more just coming in now. Greece Central School District announced today they will be going to four days of in-person learning a week starting April 19th. Schools will be closed on Wednesdays. They said part of this decision was based on the new three-foot CDC guidelines, but they also conducted a survey. And the district says it showed 87% of parents and 57% of students said they would prefer a four-day in-person model to remote or hybrid learning. And safety was the number one priority of staff, students, and parents.